The Raspberry Pi is a great piece of kit, so is the Chromecast, so why not join the two together? Here we show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a homebrew Chromecast using a neat little app called Raspbicast. Hi, this is Phil from MacTechEasier and this is how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a Chromecast. Google's Chromecast is one of the most popular streaming devices on the market and it's easy to see why. Just plug your Chromecast dongle into an HDMI port on any compatible TV, monitor or projector and you're ready to start enjoying your content on the big screen. But what if you don't want to invest in a Chromecast? You can set up your Raspberry Pi, in fact, to act as an inexpensive Chromecast style streaming device. Although you can't implement the same protocols as Chromecast, you can get very similar end results. You'll learn in this tutorial how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a Chromecast alternative using the free RaspberryCast software and the RaspberryCast for Android mobile app. What you'll need. To complete this tutorial, you'll need a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian. If you don't have it, links in the description. Raspberry Pi compatible power cable, external keyboard, HDMI cable, external monitor, Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi connection, and of course an Android smartphone or tablet. Currently, the RaspberryCast mobile app is not available for iOS. After completing this tutorial, you can attach your Raspberry Pi to a TV projector or any screen that has a compatible port. But this step is, of course, optional. Raspbian, check for the latest version. Before starting, make sure that you're running the latest version of Raspbian. Connect your Raspberry Pi to a power supply to boot it up. Once it's booted, click in the terminal icon in the toolbar. Type the following into the terminal window, then hit enter. sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt minus y upgrade. If Raspbian installs any updates, then you need to reboot your Raspberry Pi before following up with the terminal command reboot. Once your Raspberry Pi is rebooted, you're ready to move on to the next stage. Install Git, Make, Omex Player and Open Max. This tutorial uses Git and Make. These packages should be bundled with Raspbian, but since they're essential for RaspiCast, you need to make sure that they're installed. sudo apt get install git make minus y. Next, check that Omex Player is installed, as this command line player will be responsible for processing all the audio or video content casted to RaspiCast sudo apt get install omx player minus y. Omx player can only process audio and video content, it cannot process static images. Next, install the OpenMax image viewer, which is a GPU accelerated image viewer designed specifically for Raspberry Pi. To start, clone OpenMax's GitHub repository, cd and the tilde symbol, followed by enter and the following command. Next, download libjpeg 8-dev and libpng12-dev, which are development libraries for images in PNG and JPEG format. sudo apt get install libjpeg 8-dev libpng12-dev. Switch to the folder where the OpenMax GitHub repository was cloned using the change directory or cd command, cd tilde symbol slash omxiv. Now build the OpenMax source code into an executable program. Make IL client and then make. Once make is finished compiling the OpenMax code, you're ready to install it. sudo make install. The OpenMax image viewer is now running on your Raspberry Pi. Allow remote connections, enabling SSH. You can use RaspberryCast to project any image, video or audio file from your Android device to your Raspberry Pi. This casting happens wirelessly, so you need to ensure your Raspberry Pi is set up to receive remote connections. For security purposes, SSH or Secure Shell is disabled by default on Raspbian. So if you're ever going to cast your Raspberry Pi, then you need to enable SSH. In the toolbar, select the Raspberry Pi icon. Navigate to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration. Select the Interfaces tab. Find SSH and then select its accompanying enabled radio button. Save your changes by clicking OK. Reboot by selecting the Raspberry Pi logo in the toolbar and then navigating to shut down reboot. When your Raspberry Pi reboots, SSH will be enabled. Cast from your Android device to your Raspberry Pi. Next, you need to install the RaspberryCast mobile app on your Android smartphone or tablet. 
After installing this app, you will be able to cast any compatible image, video or audio file from your Android smartphone or tablet to your Raspberry Pi. Download the free Raspberry Cast app to your Android device. Launch the application. When prompted for a host name, enter your Raspberry Pi's IP address. If you don't already have this information, then you can retrieve it by opening a terminal on your Raspberry Pi and running the following command, hostname I. Enter your Raspberry Pi's username and password. By default, Raspbian's default username is Pi with the password of Raspberry. And then tap OK. To cast any video, image or audio file, simply tap Cast. This file will now be broadcast to your Raspberry Pi. Your chosen content will appear on any monitor or screen that's attached to your Raspberry Pi. So now that you have our Raspberry Cast set up, you're free to attach your Raspberry Pi to any compatible screen. Many apps and websites also support Raspberry Cast, so that if there's a piece of media you want to cast, then it's always worth tapping share and checking whether Raspberry Cast is listed as an option. Hopefully now, you can enjoy your favourite videos and photos on your widescreen TV. You can add more to the fun by installing Kodi and Netflix to Raspberry Pi, or even a Plex server. With Raspberry Pi, you'll spoil for choices. All the links in the description. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.